The following is a fan-based narrative. Please support the official release. Hey guys, if we reach a thousand likes, we'll be giving out two of our new shirts. All you gotta do is click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I know their crops have been underperforming, but... Uh... That's not it. I heard the mayor of Appaloosa say that if unicorns and pegasi want to eat, they can use their own hooves to dig. Oh, I see. Not only are we rehashing Chrissy's old design, but we're also rehashing the whole forming of Equestria story, where everyone's running out of food and that causes you to become magically racist. And what do you mean the Earth Pony crops are underperforming? When has that ever been brought up? I might have missed it, but I don't think they bring this up any time beforehand. Nor has it really explicitly been stated that Earth Ponies are the only ones that are supposed to primarily do all the farming, which in of itself would have meant that MLP is at least an extremely caste-like monarchy. That if unicorns and pegasi want to eat, they can use their own hooves to dig. How awful. How awful. They want you to make your own food. We unicorns have to stick together, right? That's... that's all it took to make him racist. To not even look at the Earth Pony's direction, who's not even from the same area that they were just talking about. And on another note, this world isn't communistic for the most part. Food is exchanged for money. So unless they're for some reason refusing to sell to two-thirds of the country, I'm not sure how exactly they are hoarding food. We could take down Twilight and her friends a hundred times, but as long as they have the love of Equestria behind them, they'd crawl back to defeat us. Not anymore. They have literally defeated all of you with just the six of them. And in Cozy Glow's case, the student six defeated her after she already got the student body to turn on them. Your argument is literally ignoring how you all lost in the first place. No friendship, no magic. Yes, no friendship, no magic, except for all the magic you're currently using to get rid of friendship in the first place. But yeah, you're right. No friendship, no magic. Unless you'd prefer I take all the magic myself. Lewd hand-holding. <laughs> God damn it, Larson. The mad lad keeps getting away with it. He made another alicorn and he hasn't even been part of the show in years. My little pony, my little pony. This is the finale, but f changing the intro or even the song. Let's just put nothing special in it. Literally nothing to send off the show. And we are going to ruin it with this artifact. Was this magic always this annoyingly chaotic? With the horns full glowing and hum and the black lightning streaking across it? It seems less like a normal character in MLP and more like an OC that someone developed. knows how to use her magic just instantly because why not? <laughs> Wait, I knew it was Discord this whole time, but he seriously didn't know they actually had the bell. He sent them on a quest to get it. It's one of the most powerful artifacts in Equestria and didn't make sure that these villains who are known to lie didn't actually have the bell. Twilight doesn't need anything else to worry about today. It took you years to get the chair, and now it's gone. I was hoping you'd say that, because now that my crown's been fitted, we have some royal errands to run. Nepotism, making random jobs with government salaries for your family and friends. Is that before or after the royal marshmallow eating contest gown? What? Of course, Marshmallow Horse would freak out about a marshmallow eating contest gown. Given how you interpret that, it could have some extremely different meanings. Joking? Day of her coronation? You've come a long way, Twilight. Yes, you came a long way from just a few episodes ago where you abandoned your friends who were, yes, being a dick, but still, you abandoned them for a trivia night game. Well, this being a thread shop, I thought I might buy some? Put the bits in the mail slot. So three bits get you a single half-empty row, and you didn't even say what threads you needed, or what color. It was the strangest thing. He kept calling me Earth Pony, like I didn't have a name, and watching me like he thought I'd steal the silver. I would take off a sin for the accurate display of subtle and not so subtle racism being shown in the kids' show, but even in some of the most racist history of America, a grunt isn't going to talk down to a royal cabinet member, at least not to their face. And wait, do you guys have silver? Because you only seem to use gold bits. That unicorn chap started throwing dessert in Mrs. Cake! I tried to help, but I got caught in the crossfire! Isn't there 
dire food shortage, but you have enough food to overbake like this and then just waste it all. You wanted to boost Twilight's confidence, so you brought that Chrysalis, Cozy Glow, and T Rex to attack her? Don't forget Sombra. To be fair, you still locked up a miner in the pony version of Hell. Cozy Glow probably should have been brought back anyway. And how was that supposed to help again? I intended to prepare Twilight for anything by orchestrating an epic attack at her coronation. I get what you mean by saying it's not real because the situations were somewhat manufactured, but Discord never once solved the issue for you. He even actively chose not to in these cases, forcing you to think for yourself. His plan, while crazy, is working. Oh, I hope you got a name picked out for your future kingdom, because it's time to destroy Equestria. <laughs> <laughs> we needed an elaborate flashback to tell us that their generic plan is to take over Equestria. Worn Cadence and Shining Armor, they're our final line of defense if we fail. The final line of defense is literally hundreds of miles from Equestria's border, and in an isolated area surrounded by freezing cold. <laughs> Now I have more power than all of you! Kneel before my might! I'm not sure which is worse, that they thought she wouldn't instantly betray them if she was able to tame the magic, or that she thought she could tame the magic. And we've always succeeded. That wouldn't be possible without all of you. Five guards, what an army. Looks like someone forgot to actually remove the storyboard elements as well, which explains why this mare is also snapping her neck so fast. Come to think of it, there's a lot of neck snapping in this entire episode. You're about to wipe the floor with you! <laughs> it's strange the credits aren't rolling because she definitely just broke her neck right there. <laughs> Alicorns really do have more fun. No one has ever said that. Why would they? Spread out and stay ready, friends. Canterlot depends on us. Really glad they spread out a whole two feet to cover this one section of the border. Let's hope they don't come from any of the other literally thousands of miles of open border that's not being guarded. No, it's the attack of terrible CGI effects. No! What a great plan! Just charge the magic eating centaur with easy to defeat, magically infused ponies. What is this place? Somewhere you can't hurt any pony. Hang on, do they not have teleportation? So that they could have just teleported them away from the beginning, away from Equestria, and keep them at bay to buy more time? Or is Chrysalis just stupid? Ugh. Stay still so I can blast you! Oh yeah, real motivating! Ugh. You'll pay for that! Put it on my tab! I'm not sure whether to cringe and add a sin for being cheesy or to remove a sin because on one hand it's pretty cute and adorkable, but when in doubt, always add a sin. Turning your back on your supercharged enemy because you put some snow on her. Always smart. Now I'll have all eternity to take my revenge on you. Unless you make her immortal, no, she's going to eventually die. <laughs> Ten years of service and still the royal guard has yet to subdue, defeat, or even pose more than a minor inconvenience to any threat. <laughs> No, they're dead. They totally just broke their necks. Again, there's a lot of neck snapping in this show. You can even hear the crack. Surprise attack! A surprise attack that she looks and stares at for the longest time and never reacts to. <laughs> Royal Guard, more useless than a pack of flying geese and some rope. Why are they around again? Didn't you all notice something was wrong in Equestria? No, they're great teachers, really in tune with their student body not to realize the extremely growing racism in their school. So their magic before blew away half the castle, but now a fragment of the wall is strong enough to stop the force of their attacks. 
previously on the episode you literally just watched. My little pony, my little pony. Still no new intro or anything, just going to stick with the same one. Won't that be fun? Patience, Cozy. Destruction is so permanent. The way to be PG-13, we can't destroy people, just send them to the Shadow Realm. What is this, the four kids version of MLP? Those shards block their magic. Careful, too close and the shards cancel even our powers. But on this side of the cavern, we are the most powerful beings in Equestria. Are, are you seriously saying that out loud to a group of heroes? And did you really surround yourself with anti-you magic? Why? They were already drained. Or you could have drained them, if not with the bell with T-Rex natural power. And I also have to point this out because I just realized this doesn't actually come back up. They spend this time detailing how this can even take away their magic and they say it to the heroes, but no one ever thinks of actually utilizing this. They actually just wing their victory. This could have really helped Twilight when she was freaking out. Thanks to Grogar's bell. Isn't that right, Grogar? Deja vu to the other times where Discord literally betrayed them. At this point, it's the main six's fault for not literally having him on a leash. <laughs> you missed! Did he though? Get her! Instead of selfly freeing everyone, she announces that she's free for some reason. I guess dramatic effects? No way! She's always needed you guys! Wait, when did she learn a spell to do that? We may not have our magic, but we aren't completely helpless. We'll hold them off as long as we can. This battle should have ended in like two seconds. How are they even remotely a challenge without their magic? They all should be crushed instantly, just like they were before. Those cowardly Pegasus. Cowardly? They're blocking clouds down. Said they didn't want any grounded ponies up in their business. I mean, they literally are locking up the sky to make it so that no one can get sunlight or anything. So I would say that, yes, that is pretty cowardly. And it's not like things could get any worse. <laughs> yeah, actually, this brings up a good point. Why didn't the Wendigo start appearing before this or in other places where ponies were shown to already be divided? Exactly why did they pop up now and not before? The Wendigos! That's just a heartwarming Eve story. It's, it's literally in front of you. Ever since Celestia told me I was taking over, I've been gaining confidence. Then I find out it's all a lie. Equestria has been falling apart around us and I didn't even notice. What kind of princess does that make me? I mean, a pretty bad one if you really didn't hear anything about the growing racism and segregation in Equestria. We don't have the elements of harmony anymore. How can you all be so calm about this? You haven't had the elements for quite a while. Hell, even since the first episodes, you said the elements were inside of you and purely a metaphorical construct. And it's up to us to fix it all. What are we gonna do, Twilight? The same thing we do every time, Pinky. Try to save the world. What a weird place to make a Pinky in the Brain reference. I mean, really out of place. It's like getting the troops ready for war and then pulling up a Barney reference. Uh, can we get on with this, please? Ghosty has had magic for a day and it's already doing complex magical girl moves. Now, now, Professor. We all know you're not the best one. They all have more than enough times they could have just killed the main six, but every time it would make sense to, they just toss them away or knock them down again. I know this is a Y7 show, but couldn't they do something to cage them or stop the main six from running all around them? Please, don't hurt him! Don't worry about me! Just say no! Yeah, great, his winks don't get plucked. He just gets killed. You saved him for a whole five seconds by giving up. It's not me! Well, wait, is that Tempest? It's certainly not someone I really expected to see at all, but I'm actually pretty glad it's her. To actually tie in the movie back in with the show is definitely worth a sin removal. 
But I also have to point out that they apparently cast a shield spell from hundreds of feet away behind a giant hill. We can defeat the Windigos together! You really think if we all sing a couple songs, everything will be fine? Well, yes, that's how it works. But also, I think this is one of the few times I've seen Barry talk. In fact, I'm not even sure if she's ever talked before. And she's not even drunk. Villains and creatures like the Windigos use that division against us. I guess they had to find random kids to convince the Pegasi and Unicorns. And notice how they're not even standing here with the student six, because it wouldn't fit the narrative. The elements were just symbols. The real magic has always been right here. You literally said they were just symbols in episode two. So I'm not sure why this is a shocker or surprise to you now. You think friendship will save you? We will always return. Nothing will ever stop you. So they're dead, right? They just got crushed. Chocolate rain? Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. Tingle, itchy, also like. I thought you had to use the spells to get the magic out of the bell. How is Pinky actually doing that? Together forever. Well, they not only imprisoned a child, but subjected her to cruel and unusual torture by turning her to stone. But nothing could prepare me for how proud I am right now. Equestria is definitely in the right hooves. You? Already. Yeah, but maybe teach her the whole turning people into stone spell just to be safe. All I know is whatever comes next is going to be perfect. How do you know that? With you guys by my side, how could it not? <laughs> <laughs> she literally loses all her friends in G5. They literally segregate, not by country, but by world. They don't even share the same planet anymore. Ultimately, the show staff decided to throw out every single lesson that they just learned right now and go in the complete opposite direction, only to end up at the original point that we find ourselves at now at the end of G5. 